it No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with yet another video. Uh, today, it is <clears throat> Thursday. <laughs> um, today is still Monday. Uh, most of these videos that you'll be seeing this week are from Monday. Um, anyhow, today's video we are going to be working on some FS17 objects. We have nine objects. Um, well, not really. We have a lot of objects in this one here, so we're not going to do this one today. Uh, well, we'll save this for last, uh, but, uh, we got basketball hoop, fire hydrant, garbage can, garbage dumpster, grill, lawnmower, manhole cover, and upright basketball hoop, and then we've got all these shop tools that, uh, we will work on later if we still have enough time first thing that we have to do is open up the mod in the fs17 giants editor and then i do not want to open my skype hopefully it doesn't okay so we want to zero this yep i did So we get that zeroed in. I really do not like this Giants editor. Anyhow, get it zeroed in. File, export selection. And we want the basketball hoop. Hoop. OBJ file. Okay, it's exported and ready to rock. I'll bring this up and we'll open up Blender. And then we will import that OBJ file. And then we need to scale this down 0 0.01 on each of these. And I will go into edit mode. Hmm. Evidently this did not export correctly. Okay. So we will not do the basketball hoop right now. We will do the fire hydrant. Uh, I did this one already just to kind of test to make sure that this was going to work. So this one I know what I'm doing on. So we'll zero this in, just like that. You can see here is the fire hydrant. Let's get some light shed on this thing. There we go. Okay, so we'll select the fire hydrant, file, export selection as hydrant. And we want to be under the fire hydrant and as an OBJ file. No, we do not want to save. We'll get the uh, blender open back up and again we will do the import and select the hydrant you can see now the hydrant is in there so we will scale this down to 0 0.01 on all three of these boom there we go we have it there going to edit mode zero that in uh, there as well There we go. Okay, so now we want to make a new material. We'll call it hydrant. There we go. Now, just open up the uh, UV image editor. Go into edit mode. You can see it's all laid out here already. Open, fire hydrant diffuse. And now if we go into object mode and then go into uh, not material texture. There we go, there is the fire hydrant. So now if we turn on some lighting here, uh, it's not gonna show up there. Um, so now if we go here, uh, we got that, this, that, open that. And 
Now maybe it'll bring it up in rendered mode. Yep, there we go. So now we'll go file export wave or giants i3d, and we'll go fire hydrant dot i3d export that. We'll just leave that open for a second. Um, let's see these we can move out of there. We'll get this opened up with the fs15 giants editor. And if we turn on a light, you can see we have it in here. It is shiny. Now, we still have files or textures to apply to this. So we need the specular texture from it, which is right here. You can see that kind of gets rid of the shininess. And then we have the normal texture from it. And that just gives it its color and all of that good stuff. So we'll make a new light. Um, yeah, it makes it darker, makes it a uh, much better color. So we'll save that. There we go. We can get rid of this, get rid of these. Bada bing, bada boom. Open it back up just to show you that it is all set and ready to rock. There we go. There is our fire hydrant. Don't need to save it. We didn't do anything there. Next up, the garbage can. Basically the uh, same same process, exactly. So you can see there is our garbage can. Um, it's already zeroed in and everything. It is ready to rock and roll. So we'll call that can, make sure that change it to OBJ, not export it as another i3D. Um, and we will minimize this quick. We'll go in here, get rid of this stuff. We do not need it anymore. Um, this one we do not need. No, no change, no save is saving of the changes can obj again resize this and i hope i'm still okay and then do the exact same process uv image editor um, oops i need to do this first Garbage can for its material name, edit mode, open, waste cart, diffuse. If we go into texture mode, it is all textured up there for us. And then we just go here, new, open, waste cart, boom. So now we'll call this garbage can and then we can close this delete that open this with the 15 GE and then again back in here go like this And it's specular texture that kind of brightened it up a little bit. Now this will darken it. And there we go. Now another thing that I usually do is I rename these. So this will be garbage can. And then we can go ahead and save that. We can go back to the fire hydrant. Open it up. So it's already called fire hydrant, but it's all one and we want it like that. Okay, so these two we can move out here. They will be going into the um, onto the map. Next up is the dumpster. 
<laughs> Trash container. Zero that in. You can see it is here in its glory. Export the selection as uh, garbage. Oops. There we go. Okay, we can delete our i3d files. Don't need those. Now we just need this. It'd be nice if uh, when you clicked on the OBJ to open it, uh, it actually opened it instead of just opening Blender and then you had to import it yet and everything too. But what can you do? Nothing. That is the answer. There's all that. And then we want this zeroed in. There we go. Sometimes it does not go straight to zero. Sometimes you just gotta kind of sit and do it a few times. Sometimes it goes higher, sometimes it goes lower. Anyhow, that's good enough. We will get a material made for this called dumpster. And another way you can do this is you can rename it here in Blender and then it will keep its name over in Giants Editor. I find it easier then you don't have to have as many tabs open in uh, Blender or Giants Editor I mean. So there is the garbage can all ready to rock and roll. Just open that. There we go. Export. I did D dumpster and away we go so if you look it is called dumpster here in Giants Editor so we can get rid of attributes alright so let's go ahead and get that opened up so we'll get our normal texture added and then our specular texture and there we have it there is the dumpster we'll save it drag it out there next up we have the barbecue grill <clears throat> I saw this one and thought that would make a really really cool object so therefore here we go so grill underscore viz is already zeroed in We'll make sure to change this to that. Grill. Close that up. Delete that. So yeah, it's just kind of a lot of the same thing in this video, but um, it would only take like two minutes if I was only showing it, you know, doing like a tutorial on how to do it. Uh, obviously, with like normal mods, it will require a whole lot more work than just these objects um, but you know it's same similar concept just there is a lot more work involved so tab on into edit mode here we get this and that and there texture mode there we have our grill wonderful looking it's definitely a really neat, uh, well done model for a little uh, map object. It's always nice to find uh, decent quality uh, map objects. So again, we have a shininess to it. 
but once we apply these other textures it will go away just like that and there we have it there's the grill on to the next one which just so happens to be a lawnmower <clears throat> saw this and figured that would make a good object as well put some sheds around some different houses and there we go um, I don't believe that I actually changed the grill uh, in Giants Editor changed the name I mean I think it's still grill viz yeah I did not change it I forgot to do that in blender all right so there's that that one is finished now okay so let's get our lawnmower exported and then we can delete that again There's the mower, 0 0.01. Okay, and if we go into texture mode, it will be all white. And we'll make a new material mower. Tab into edit mode, get rid of that. Bring this up, UV image editor, lawn mower. Apparently everything fits. We have some parts that don't, but uh, it AOs just fine. So, a 250 horsepower walk by and mower. Wow! That is a pretty powerful little mower. <laughs> that's, uh, unless that's supposed to be 25 or 2.5 or something. 250 horsepower, that's the amount of power of a tractor. So we'll call this push mower. You can quit that. Delete that. Open this. So again, it is a little shiny. As soon as we add our specular texture to it, boom, away it goes. For the most part. Still is a little shiny, but uh, definitely not what it was. And now the uh, normal texture just kind of cleans it up. Makes it a nice, clean texture. So I'll show you the difference between no and yes. No and yes. Really, it kind of just seems like it's just, uh, you know, darkening, but, or darkening the light, but really it's doing more than that. <clears throat> so that is the, uh, lawnmower. Okay, guys, sorry for that abrupt ending. Even with all of that checking, my OBS still decided that it was going to quit mid recording. I uh, don't know what it is. It must be me pressing enter a lot. And uh, one of the times I checked it, I must have hovered over stop or something. Thought, oh, you hit enter. You're telling me to stop recording. Um, you guys get the general idea uh, of it. And so, yeah, um, I did get the basketball hoop and all of that stuff finished. Uh, I have it all right here. We have seven of them complete. You can see them all here. So we'll go ahead and move those over to new. And they will sit there waiting for me to use them. So here is your outro. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, 
as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.